So here we have the verification problem, secant plus cosecant over tangent plus cotangent equals sine plus cosine. In order to verify this problem, we have to figure out which is the hardest side and use our trig identities to set it equal to the other side. So let's start with this side. Let's set all of these in terms of sine and cosine, so that will make it easier for us. So to start with secant, that equals 1 over cosine, plus cosecant, which is equal to 1 over sine. Then we have tangent plus cotangent. Tangent is sine over cosine, that would be plus cotangent, which is equal to cosine over sine. Our next step is to add, and in order to add these two, we have to have a common denominator. The common denominator for the numerator will be sine times cosine. And when we have a common denominator, we have to add, sorry, multiply to the top as well. So our common denominator will be cosine times sine. And above that, we will have sine plus cosine. Because we multiplied cosine and sine by 1 and 1. For our denominator, we will have to find a common denominator as well for these ones right down here. So, we have to multiply sine by cosine. So, right here. For our common denominator. And when you multiply by on the bottom, you have to multiply on the top as well. So, sine will multiply by the sine, creating a sine squared. We got plus cosine times cosine, making a cosine squared. So we have sine squared plus cosine squared all over cosine theta sine theta. So we have gotten this step where we have sine plus cosine over cosine times sine all over sine squared plus cosine squared over cosine times sine. Now we have to multiply by the reciprocal. So if we were multiplying by the reciprocal, we have to bring these sine cosine up here and bring the cosine plus sine squared right here. We can get rid of that. Creating this. Now we can start canceling out to make it easier to solve. Start with cosine, sine, and cosine, sine up here. They can cancel off, so might as well just get rid of those. Don't worry, we can still cancel more. Here we have sine theta and sine squared theta. And if you flip this over, there are two sines. So we can cancel one of these sines and one of these sines, making that just sine theta. We can get rid of that as well. So we have cosine theta and cosine squared theta. As you can see right here, two cosines and one cosine. We can cancel this one and cancel one of these, making it cosine theta. And here we have our final answer.